Hello and welcome to Inkscape for Teachers. In this tutorial I'll be showing you how you can utilize the stroke to path and break apart commands to produce various shapes based on an original one. For example this original blue shape here, if I click on it, it's uh, you know, a star created with the polygon tool but it actually has a fill and a stroke as you can see down here the fill and the stroke in the bottom left hand corner. If I look at the uh, fill and stroke menu under fill you can see that um, these are the colours that combine to produce the overall colour and um, the stroke style, sorry stroke paint, uh, that's on black stroke style, it's 3mm stroke which you can see there. Now I'll just uh, delete these, actually I'll move them down out of the way, scroll back up. If I click on this and I go path, stroke to path what happens is that the fill is just forgotten or eliminated and we've got an object that um, takes the shape of the original path. For example, if I hit N for the node tool now, you can see that uh, that's a thick shape and it actually has no stroke on it. This is now just the fill. If I was to put a stroke on that, say red, shift and red, and I'll put on such a big stroke, I'll put it down to 0.5mm, uh, say, and you can see there's a a stroke, red stroke around that object. So it gives you different options. Uh, I'll go, go back to the object. One more thing you can do once you've uh, changed it into just a path with no stroke. If you go to path, this is a little bit surprising the effect sometimes, break apart, you think what's happened there is it filled in. But you might see these two marquees, there are two objects here. If I click away then click on one in the middle and control drag it, that was the center bit. So these two objects I guess together formed the original object but uh, now this when they're broken apart you get an inside bit and an outside bit. I'll just give them different colors to differentiate. Okay now what you can do of course if you want to is you can give either of these a stroke because they're just fills. If I give this one a stroke, shift red, there we go, or shift blue for this one stroke, you can do that. Now that's quite a wide uh, stroke. So you can get quite a few interesting effects. Lost myself here, here we go. Um, from starting with an original object, which I've now lost, I didn't copy it, and just producing the, um, turning the stroke into an object, and then breaking it apart and getting two other objects without strokes. Can be a bit confusing, but uh, there are lots of options in there. All centered on the path menu. First of all, stroke to path, and then later on I used break apart. Okay, hope that helps, but at least it'll help me if I forget what I've done I can refer to this video. Thanks for joining us, bye for now.